Culture Month. Where else for us to do a celebration of Italian heritage and culture than in Little Italy? You could see the manifestation of his dream and the reality of this beautiful building. And it is a special honor for us that we would be one of the first events that he would host here. We do it to celebrate, there's so many heroes among our people. We talked about Barrazzano, we think about Frank Sinatra, Joe DiMaggio, Mother Cabrini, Dr. Fauci. I mean, there's such a long list more names than I could certainly mention. But that's why we celebrate the honorees that we're celebrating tonight and why we like to do this when we do these events, because there are heroes today. There's almost a lost generation because now, you know, everybody's been here for a number of generations and our children and our grandchildren don't necessarily connect with the Italian culture. But by joining uh, this organization, they have an opportunity to be mentored. We have one of the best cultures ever. We've done so much to build this country up, and we continue to do it. We, we're going to continue to do it with our new people coming up, our new uh, citizens coming up. We, in Local 282, uh, probably had thousands of Italian Americans come through our doors. And when the Italian Americans came over into the labor movement, they didn't come over looking for handouts. They wanted to go to work, support their families, uh, make a better life for their children, their grandchildren. I'm a recipient of that. These houses are set up for anyone who is highly committed and motivated, leaving incarceration, who wants to continue their education. And that's why we're very grateful for our partnerships with NYU, Columbia, Manhattan College, NYU, John Jay, that affords these men these scholarships and vocational and technical um, education that we know is so important so that uh, people can come back, back into our society and thrive for life. My grandfather, who came to America in 1900, didn't become a citizen until 1921. But as I said, my father was baptized in 1910. So he was born before my grandfather became a citizen. So guess what? I claim my citizenship, and my son claimed his citizenship, and my grandson has his citizenship, so we're all Italian citizens. We're going to acknowledge Vincent Arcalesi, artist and professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Uh, he exhibited in New York City internationally since 1966, including solo shows, museum shows. I was named after Piero della Francesca, an Italian Renaissance artist, so my dad was very closely connected to Italy, and I hope that you can see that and feel that with your heart.